Hey everyone, John here with ProH Paintball. Today I'm gonna to review our entry level package. If you have a player that is just getting started into paintball and you're not really sure what to buy um, or you're buying a gift for somebody that wants to get into it, these are gonna be your three basic items that you need to play paintball besides the paintball gun. And the reason why we did it that way is most of your entry level paintball guns will work with these same items. Um, and a paintball gun is pretty expensive. So some people will buy like the accessories and let the player pick out the paintball gun they want. So just to cover this quickly, um, this is a 12 ounce CO2 tank. This is a 200 round hopper. And this is your standard entry level type paintball uh, mask. And just gonna go over each one of them quickly. When you're playing paintball, you need five things. You need an air tank, you need a hopper or a loader, some people will call it. And this is a CO2 tank not a NOS or nitrogen tank, and the, a mask, paintballs, and your gun itself. So paintballs, most paintball places require you to buy paintballs from there, so we don't have these out here. And like we said about paintball guns, most of your entry level paintball guns will work with this equipment here. So we just wanted to give you an overview if you're new to paintball or trying to buy a gift, give you a little idea. So this 12 ounce bottle is our most popular bottle or air tank because it's very lightweight for a lot of your newer players. So you have a smaller or younger player that's trying to get started a 12 ounce CO2 tank will do everything you need it to. It'll give you about 600 to 600 shots, 800 shots roughly, um, assuming the per place you take it, it's filling it up all the way. And what that means is each one of these holds 200 shots. So you're looking at about, let's say about three of these plus or minus 100 here and there, uh, three refills of these. Um, for most newer players, that'll last you a game to three or four games, depending on the player, depending on if they shoot at everything they see or whatnot. Um, so a 12 ounce bottle like this runs you about 20 bucks. They're about three or four dollars to get them filled up if you have to pay for that like at an academy or any other place that fills them up. Your basic hopper, this is just, just like that basic, has no electronics, no motor, nothing, whatnot. It attaches to the top of the paintball gun like that. You open it up, put paintballs inside, snap it closed, you're good to go. This is what every single paintball player needs out there uh, for an entry level paintball gun. These are about five bucks. And then the most complicated thing on this, what we show here is our mask. Paintball masks are made to fit everybody. Uh, some of them, of course, fit a little bit smaller players a little bit better, but some of the tricks that we like, if you're looking at a paintball mask and you're worried about a younger player, just make sure that they wear a baseball cap when they're purchasing or once they go play paintball, um, once you purchase a mask. Because what that does is that helps keep the strap on the back of their head so it doesn't slide down. Um, so most of your masks out there, your entry level ones, will work perfectly fine for younger players. You just kind of have to make them wear a beanie or a baseball cap, something like that. And plus those items help protect the top of the head. But for our mask, you have a different kinds of masks. This is your standard mask, typically ones that run between $15 and $25. Um, they're very similar to the rental masks at the paintball field. And if you've never played, they're not very comfortable. They tend to fog up when you're playing um, and they're just not that well built. They're not gonna last you that long. Uh, this here is an Empire Helix mask. These sell for about $20, $25, I believe. Um, again, it's a anti-fog lens. So it just has a small coating, but after it wears out, it starts to fog up on you pretty bad. Um, what we love about this mask though is for an entry level player, once they upgrade, they don't throw this one away. They can actually upgrade the mask uh, or the lens, the part that fogs up on this mask without buying a whole new mask. So let's say you buy pretty much any other brand entry level mask out there, the ones that are um, not the trash uh, Gen X or anything like that, but Gen X makes a really cheap one uh, that you can find on Amazon and most of those packages. They're, they're not good. They're, you're literally throwing your money away. It's a very cheap way to get somebody into paintball, but that mask is not gonna last them. Um, it's very flimsy plastic. I don't believe they're upgrade for lenses. And so this is our lowest entry level mask that we recommend. It's made by Empire Paintball, one of the biggest companies out there. The straps are replaceable, so if it wears out, the lenses are replaceable, so if it wears out or if you want to upgrade to one that does not fog up, those are called a thermal lens, um, and that is going to be something very similar to something like this. So if you notice, it is mirrored, So and I actually can peel this off and kind of show you. So this is an awesome lens. So these are the exact same goggles. What the difference is, this has an entry-level uh, entry lens inside of it that's going to fog up over time, but Instead of going out and spending $40, $50 on a whole new mask, you can buy for about $20, $25, you can buy an upgraded lens that will still go in the mask the first one you purchased, and now you've got a mask that's not gonna fog up on you. Um, it's very durable, heavy duty, um, and again, it's not gonna fog up, and it looks way cooler without spending a ton of money. So if you're looking at getting a beginner package, 
These are our favorite items because they're gonna last you a, a long time for what you need, but also you're not just throwing money away buying the cheapest out there. Um, the main difference between this even and your next level is the level of foam that you're gonna get. So on this foam here, it's not gonna be as flex or as soft as some of your, like your next level up um, goggles might be, but it's a good entry level like we said. So for this, you're looking at about 50 bucks for this whole package here, probably 40 to $50. Uh, plus tax depending on where you're at a very good entry level type setup uh, for most of your entry level guns if you guys have any questions out there feel free to comment below or give us a call at 713-896-8841 especially if you're shopping for somebody else or if you're just getting into paintball all of our staff is very help you know very helpful we all play and we've all been playing 5 10 years 15 years some of us and so message us on social media i answer most of those questions or you can reach out to me directly, John, J-O-H-N, at ProHPaintball.com. Uh, but like I said, this package can be around 50 bucks. You can add this to any of your entry-level paintball guns that you purchase. Um, any questions, any comments, anything at all, feel free to reach out to us. Otherwise, thank you guys for watching, and please like and subscribe. Kyle! Yeah, no, you're good. You're totally good. Um, so from now on...